very loud person as you guys will come to discover today's video is a bit different i'm sure you guys notice a little bit of a difference i got these these are my first pair of spectacles now listen the story behind this is i'm not blind blind you know those people that can't read that can't see from far i can see from far i can see from close i can read without my glasses my glasses are for specifically when i'm dealing with technology um my phone my laptop that's what they're for <gasps> look at them they are smoking up i don't know if you can see um because it's so hot and i sweat a lot so that's what they're for and i'm probably going to be wearing them in most of my videos so let's get into today's video today's video as i had previously broken down in my welcome to my channel video my channel is going to be about fitness food and chit chats today that's what i'm here to talk about and i'm basically just going to be walking you through my fitness regime and i'm going to be feature feature oh, featuring featuring this is featuring videos of me at the gym so to as a means to give you a better understanding of what, what actually i do in the gym yo oh, guys it's boiling hot and as per usual i'm gonna be drinking water throughout this video so when i started my fitness journey i probably prop probably and properly actually started it in february this year and the reason i started my fitness journey i was on campus and i was walking up those matrix stairs and yo a girl could not breathe i was struggling to breathe i was like i'm really unfit unfit so that was like a wake-up call to me about my health and about my conditioning and i was like something has to give and it's obviously not gonna be the stairs that change Vitz is not gonna all of a sudden be like on flat earth it's always gonna be on an incline so i was like you know what let me prepare myself this year for the inclines on campus and let me change my lifestyle so i started out gymming five times a week and i started at start it so uh, i don't know what's happening today but when i started gymming basically i started with doing 30 minutes on the treadmill and i started building up my consistency rather than um than my exercises so once i was stuck on doing 30 minutes and my body was conditioned to that i was like let me switch it up so that's when i started adding weight training different forms of cardio and most of the questions i've been getting on social media from twitter instagram whatever it may be whatsapp is how do i stay consistent at the gym i feel like consistency is built on faith and belief and i'm gonna break it down for you you need to believe in yourself to get get yourself in the gym five times a week firstly and you need to have faith in your progress even though you may not see it other people see it and it's not even if other people don't see it don't dwell in that one thing i'm gonna say about like losing weight and going to the gym is don't dwell in and what people see because i'll personally speak to myself i struggle with seeing weight loss in me and then other people will see it on some you don't you lost so much weight and i don't necessarily live for the compliments or them noticing that i've lost weight but the fact that other people have noticed means what i'm doing in the gym is reflecting on my body so the things that i've done basically to further my progress in the gym is i went up from 30 minutes to 45 minutes so i break down my 45 minutes between either 20 minutes of cardio which is either the treadmill or the bike or i do 10 on the bike 10 on the treadmill and then the rest is given to weight now ladies and gentlemen i never once thought i would enjoy weight training already cardio is just a lot for me but wait mm, 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 you guys have been hiding a secret from us 
weights are fun when done properly weights are fun like i really do enjoy doing my triceps and my back there's something that in me that says oh my god you can lift 25 kgs that makes me happy when i lift 20 kgs 30 kgs even when i lift those weights with my quads and legs let it be i'm doing a leg extension or i'm doing a chest press i just get happy so everyone always says 20 percent gym 80 percent what you eat and i believe in that wholeheartedly and in terms of eating i try to keep a relatively clean diet and you guys are gonna see in the things that i cook that i don't necessarily eat a lot of fatty foods or foods that are deemed to be fatty i try to stick to a high protein low carb diet because that's how you lose the weight gradually and you don't gain it back as i've said before it's about adopting a lifestyle so i've adopted a lifestyle where i'm very conscious about what i put into my body and i typically stay away from sugar like the only time i have sugar is when i'm in kzn but when i'm in johannesburg where i have like more control over the things i purchase i don't buy sugar let it be sugar for my tea i don't take sugar in my tea when i'm in johannesburg i don't take sugar in my cereal i don't take sugar in most things when i'm in johannesburg but when i'm at home because to obvious i call my temptation I'm sorry, I like my fresh pack um, rooibos tea with sugar, milk, hearts. So that's when I double in sugar. But when you cut sugar, you lose a lot of weight in your waist area. So for those that are looking to lose umkaba, ifupa, cut sugar lower your carb intake so i'm also going to tell you what i normally eat on a typical day i'm a fan of rice cakes i love me some rice cakes so i'm going to probably have rice cakes with scrambled eggs and i'm going to base my rice cakes with cream cheese cream cheese um the medium fat one from landswood is my favorite so that's good if i'm not in the mood for cream cheese i'll have ri rice cakes with avocado and chicken breast uh, sometimes if i'm in the mood for a little bit of starch i'll dabble in your pastas your couscous your rice i'm not a fan of bap by nature so i've never been tempted to like eat bap and upu too those have just never been my things by nature in istanbul and i think what has also just always um helped me in my weight loss journey is being a picky eater so being a picky eater basically just also reduced what i do eat because yeah like certain things just don't fly with me now when i say certain things don't fly with me mm, i don't have those precious to eat those precious to eat in boozy i don't like those things but um speaking to african people and african food styles people who eat those things I'll suggest you cut out like those things because they do have a lot of salt and a lot of salt is not really good on your weight loss journey. So if you do like salt, I'm going to suggest you switch to like your pink salts or otherwise known as Himalayan salt, which will help. And guys, I'm here to answer questions about weight loss. And so do like drop questions in the comment section and I'll be there to answer them um another question that people have been asking me is how much weight i've lost i don't know i stay away from the scale the scale will make you lose your damn mind because the scale will stay the same but turns out you've lost fat but you've gained muscle and muscle mass is very heavy so i recommend people staying away from the scale but i do say weigh yourself at the beginning and maybe weigh yourself three months later to see the difference also a big thing that shows the difference has to be clothes i mean uh, personally i don't know what size i take now i take three different sizes and i see which one works better in those in those clothes 
Like I was recently at pick and pay, pick and pay clothing looking for a mini skirt. I took three sizes in and the size I ended up taking is actually very loose at the back of my at the back of my waist. And unfortunately I do have a waist that allows me to and a way a waist that's very loose at the at the back and then we have a little foo part in the front. And another thing I do use at the gym is my Thermosculpt belt from Kobe Fit on Instagram. That's the lady that sells them. And they are currently going for 1,000 Rand. She also sells hybrids that I think go for 800 Rand. Disclaimer though, I did get my Thermosculpt on sale when she was having a sale. I got it for 750. Love my Thermosculpt belt. When I tell you, Ukuti, Chudube Manzi Te. I And trust me guys, once you build your consistency, everything is within reach. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed my craziness in this video. And I feel like I'm warming up to the camera. I won't mention Kalok Zizwa. I can't say, oh, same feel. Nango, no bunero, say, please, we sing a needing jayeke, sing a needing coons, mama. So, yeah, um, do check out my videos on Instagram, and I will be posting them here. And, guys, another thing you need to invest on before I go invest in home weights. Uh, I know Mr. Price Sports does have really affordable ranges of home weights that's because if you're lazy to go into the gym at least do something when you're at home guys and guys pray for the spirit of laziness oh my wife has a check out guys being lazy will prevent you from reaching your goals in everything from business personal academic gym keep on my demon guys 2019 let's enter summer with happier bodies help happier versions of ourselves now if you don't want to lose weight go to the gym just to be healthy about just to be a happy version of yourself just to maintain the person you are let it be we do that let it be yes yeah let it be yes do let it be uh, your slender bender like then i said you mean maintain look good for yourself Guys, see you in my next video. Hope you enjoyed the video. This video, can't wait for your questions. I'm looking forward to it. Drop questions in my DMs. I'll be dropping where you guys can find me on social media. Happy Friday, guys! Let me go off and relax. <laughs>sculpt i spoke about in my video so you basically wrap it around your waist it has two layers and yeah it just works your waist